Hi. You're about to witness the precise moment where Lucas discovers his own tail. <laughs> I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm so bored. Whoa! That sound! That's the sound that comes before we go for a walk! I love to go for walks! And Jay squirrels! Oh boy, oh boy! when I take over. Lucas! That's not a squirrel. It's your own tail. My what? Your tail. It's a part of your body. Just like your ears. Your brain. <gasps> I have a brain? Yeah. But let's focus on your tail. Okay! Animals have all kinds of tails, Lucas. Long tails, short tails, and tails in between. Dogs have tails, Lucas. Cats have tails. Even giraffes and zebras have tails. Tails are good for you, Lucas, and have many uses. They help swat away insects. They help with balance. They even help to show what kind of mood you're in. When a dog is sad, its tail tucks between its legs. And when it's happy, its tail wags. Thank you for showing me the truth, Rat! But what about you? Do you have a tail? Yes. I used to have a tail. I no longer have it. It was a dark night in a dark street. And there was an even darker cat they call Fluffy. That night I learned that you should never try... You don't have a tail! You don't have a tail! You don't have a tail! But I have a tail! But I have a tail! I have a tail and you don't! Yes, I have a tail and you don't. I have a tail. I have a tail. Hmm? Oh, hey, where are you going? Hey, you don't belong there. Get behind me. Come here, you. Ah! Ah! Tail, you have to be here. By my bum. Hey, get back here. Ah! Animals also use tails to teach other animals a lesson. Very funny. <laughs> I know. More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels. And the full interactive adventure in the Lingo Kids app. That was fun!